Hello, my name is Joseph Muniz, and I'm going to walk you through how to set up a free OpenDNS account. As an introduction, OpenDNS is a recent security acquisition that leverages DNS. DNS is what we use to translate human language websites into their actual IP addresses. So for example, I go to Cisco.com. Cisco.com to me is the website I want to go to. However, my computer needs to know the IP address of Cisco.com so it can then communicate properly. DNS does that translation. So it makes life easy because now I can just memorize websites versus a bunch of IP addresses. Now take in mind millions of people doing that every day and you got yourself a really good source for threat and network intelligence. Looking at the OpenDNS website, the latest numbers are they're seeing about 2% of the internet's requests or 80 billion DNS requests per day. Again, a lot of data from a threat intelligence perspective to make intelligent decisions about how to protect your network. Now with OpenDNS, there's a couple paid accounts as well as the free account. The free account is what we're gonna to do today. However, you could upsell the umbrella account, which is allowing you to extend what we do today to have some more security capabilities, and more importantly, have this go beyond the home network. You can now put this on a corporate network and have it always on by extending it to endpoints, such as laptops and even iOS devices, like iPhones, iPads, etc. If you want security analytics for an investigation, there is the investigate license that allows you to get details from a DNS perspective on the sources you're communicating with. These are some highlights of the paid umbrella option. And this is some of the details you can get by unlocking the investigate license. Looking at a fully licensed open DNS offering, this diagram aligns capabilities to our before, during, and after attack continuum. But again, the target of this video is about setting up a free account. So why does that matter? Why talk about this? Well, one, it's a free giveaway for your customers. You can literally say, thank you for meeting. Here is a bonus. Go protect your home network for free, free content filtering and free security from Cisco by just registering with OpenDNS. Two, it's an upselling opportunity to sell the more advanced OpenDNS licenses. Hopefully the customer loves it and then wants to actually bring it to their corporate office and extend it through there. Third, it's an opportunity to talk about Cisco security. Maybe later you can ask, well, how do you secure your email, web, etc., and upsell from there. And then lastly, even if the customer has other vendor security products, such as FireEye, Palo Alto, etc., those products can still benefit by adding OpenDNS, because this is DNS security. So pretty much every customer is a potential opportunity that could all start by giving away a free account. Now the steps for you to set up a free account are as follow. You would need to register an email address to OpenDNS.com. You're gonna get an email, and that email is gonna confirm and activate your account. You're going to point your DNS, so your home network DNS at OpenDNS. You're going to add your home IP address to OpenDNS so it knows where traffic is coming and associate to your account. And then last, you're gonna configure some capabilities and confirm things. And I'll show you these steps right now. So to start off, you wanna to go to OpenDNS.com and you wanna go under the personal section. So there's a business section, personal, etc. Personal will be where the free accounts are at. Under the personal section, there'll be some options. We'll be using the classic free account. So you would click sign up and fill out the form. Now when I click it, I've already signed up, so now it's trying to upsell me to the umbrella, but basically a similar form would come up. You put in your name, your email address, and then you would get a confirmation email stating, hi, you've registered, please confirm this account. Upon confirming that account, you would then get the welcome. At this point, your account is now activated and you can get into your dashboard. When you log into your account, it's gonna ask you to add a network. It's gonna show you your current IP address, 
which right now I'm VPN in, so that has nothing to do with my actual IP address. But if my VPN was off, I would see my actual public IP address. Another way of obtaining your IP address is by going to Google and searching what is my IPv4 IP address. And Google can also tell you some different options, such as IPlookup.net. I go here, and it'll tell me my IP address. So you would have your IP address. You would go to Settings. There would be an Add button. You would click Add a Network. Put in the IP address. So in this use case, I put in this IP address here, the 69243.5.154. And then I gave it the name Test Network. So once you add it, you would have the opportunity to then go and configure that network. Configurations are very simple. Do you want to do any filtering? And you have those capabilities, and you can customize and view what that means. And you click Customize, for example. And this kind of shows you the various types of stuff that you can and can't block. So moderate, as you see, is picking those by default. You can always keep it as custom and choose whatever you want to block or not block. So again, free content filtering. And when you're done, you click apply. And then there's security. Security is the options around blocking things that are of high risk. So for example, playboy.com would possibly not be a high risk, but maybe not appropriate. So content filtering is where you would filter out adult material. However, security would be a banking website. It's really not a banking website. They're a phishing website. So you're going to allow banking via filtering. But Cisco is going to say, wait, that bank has been online for a couple hours, hosted from GoDaddy. It's not a real bank. It's a fake site. And block it here. So you got web content filtering, security, and many other configurations you can do to tune your free OpenDNS account. Once it's set up, you can go to stats. However, you're not going to see anything. And the reason why is, by clicking Settings, two things have not been done. One, you have not confirmed this network with OpenDNS. And two, you have not pointed your actual network DNS to OpenDNS. Now, I have Meraki on my home network. So when I log into Meraki, and I go to Security Appliance, DHCP Settings, my DNS is pretty slick. It already knows about OpenDNS. So I can just point to OpenDNS, and it's done. For like a Comcast router or any other router source that you have to manually put it in, at the bottom here shows the DNS that you should put in there. So you would go to your Comcast, uh, RCN, whatever service you have for your home network and point that device. Maybe it's a Linksys router or whatever it is. Change the DNS from whatever you're using. Point it to these DNS IP addresses and now your network is using OpenDNS. After doing that, you also need to associate it on this side, which I've done, and then confirm it. Now the confirmation is going to be another yet email that you receive to asking you to confirm things. Now in my use case, this is not a real IP address, and I have my VPN on as well, but if my VPN was off and I was actually behind this IP address, when I click the confirmation email, it would then confirm and things will be good. In this use case, it's saying this IP address is not associated with that. So therefore, I can't just pick somebody's IP address range, not be on the network and associate it. What it's looking for is an IP address that's actually behind the network you're trying to add. So you need to confirm that. If you're doing this from your office and you're trying to protect your home network, you have to wait till you get home to confirm things. You have to be behind your home network. So ideally speaking, if I was at home and that was actually my IP address, I would then be able to confirm and activate this account and then from there when I click stats I would start to see data around what I'm doing and what's being protected. I have a paid account so this is my umbrella account where now I can take this network piece that I have and add more networks as well as protect my laptop and iOS. This comes with a paid account and that's where in my account I click overview and I'm actually going to see data. I can't add two IP addresses meaning I can't have my free account protecting this and my paid account, hence why I can't add my account. I'm behind a network already protected by OpenDNS. So to wrap this up, I've shown you how to register with OpenDNS, that you need to confirm via email your account. You need to point your network at OpenDNS. I did it with Meraki, which already knew the IP address range, but you can manually put that in as well. You need to add your network to OpenDNS so when it's seeing DNS requests from your home network, it knows to associate it with your account. 
You can configure content filtering and your security options, as well as other things like who can log in and what they can see, and then confirm things, but you have to be behind the network that you're actually confirming to confirm that you are a part of that network, and from there, you have the ability to enjoy OpenDNS. Screenshots of this. This is screenshots of the emails you receive. This is the add button I was mentioning where you add and then put in the IP address range that of your network you're protecting. You know, I showed you how to get that IP address, name it, and then choose that IP address once you've named it. Set up your, your security configurations and content filtering configurations. Then from there, go to that email and click to confirm the IP address. And at that point, you should have an operating system. And then from there, obviously it's great if you can upsell to the umbrella license and later the investigate license. For more information, you should definitely check out our OpenDNS.com website, as well as other related sales material. Go out there, tell your customers about this. It's free security. It's a no-brainer that you should be leaving this behind at all of your accounts. Thank you for your time.